Hello? All hell is let loose on you. Hello? Who, who is this? The Terminators. The what? The Terminators. What? Step on your brakes right now. Is this a joke? I said step on your brakes right now. Okay, who kills this? Stop the car not more than 10 meters from where you are. Otherwise you'll visit Lucifer in hell. I said no. Now bring out everything you have in your pockets. All your money, put it on the passenger seat. Right now. This is my wallet.
No. No. And what are we having?
your daughter, you mean? My son. Oh, your daughter, your girl? Oh. Hey, I've never seen a girl kick like this. Why well, did? You did? Yes, I did. <laughs> Hey, hey, don't, don't do that. Okay, I'm your daddy. Don't, 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 don't you kid me like that. Ah. Ah. What? Ah. Yes? 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 Mm -hmm. this, is that yes, 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 yes,
Because why, why wouldn't your nurses talk to me? What's what's wrong? What has happened to my wife? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson. What are you sorry about? Did you did you step on my toes? Am I injured? What are you sorry about? Excuse me. What 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 happened to my wife? You see, we lost her. I'm sorry. You lost what? You lost what? You lost what? You lost what? Take it easy, sir. You lost what? You lost what? Take it easy, sir. Please, please. If you touch me again, if you touch me again, take it easy. Take it easy, sir. Take it easy, sir. Please, please. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Just calm down. Please. We're sorry. Calm down. Calm down, sir. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. We're sorry. We're sorry. Come on, have a seat. Get your hands
Yeah, I know. I know we have to start celebrating the death of my wife, you know, bring out the drums and everything. Oh, what we are saying is far from what you're thinking. But we all know that you love Jennifer so much. My mother, she is gone. Damien. Damien. My wife is your sister. She's the nearest person to you who can take care of the baby. I mean, you have so many things ahead of you to do. The baby will be a lot of inconvenience to you. And besides, it's a woman's duty to nurse a baby. At least a newborn baby for that matter. Brother, please. Agnes, please. Agnes, please. Uh, don't cry. Okay? Uh, it's a pity that my mom, or our mom is not alive. Uh, she's the only one that would not query me the way you guys are doing. I have taken time to listen to all you're saying, but I'm saying that I, as far as I'm concerned, my wife is not dead. I will continue to see her face in the face of my little girl. So I'm going to love her, bring her up, win her, do everything for her. So anything that anybody wants to do for her will be done right under my roof. Little Stephanie will stay with me.
tell you what. My mother, where is she? Who is she? Oh, honey, please. What? Not now, please. Why then? Why? Because you, you won't understand. meeting we've held in a very long time. I it's know. important that we reach a consensus. Michael, I know, but uh, the meeting still stands out, John, yeah? Sir, it's quite unlike you, the MD, to cut short a meeting just like that. I know, but I have my daughter to think of. Your daughter? Mm. Sir, for this occasion, why don't you just send the driver to go and pick her up? I'll tell the headmistress if I take you home. 
okay? said gentlemen never break promises. Auntie Rose? Yes, a teacher in my school. Hmm. Well, your teacher is right, but not absolutely. I mean, sometimes a lot of factors can make you break promises, even gentlemen. A lot of what? Factors. Like today, for instance, I had a breakdown when I was coming to meet you. And then Breakdown. Yeah, I, my, I had engine problems when I was coming to your school and I had to spend like two hours, two whole hours with a mechanic. And, and when I got to your school, it was deserted and, and, and I panicked until I called the house and heard your sweet, sweet voice. I'm sorry, Dad. No, I'm sorry too. How did you get home? She brought me. Who? Auntie Rose. Oh, yes, Auntie Rose. Oh, God bless Auntie Rose. God has already blessed her. Oh. How are you so certain? She's like an angel. Angel, huh? Yes. Oh, what do you know about angels? That she's so beautiful. Or did you not say angels are beautiful? Yeah, in fact they are more than beautiful. Just like you. Thanks, Dad. Are angels girls? Well, now let us see. Are you a girl? <laughs> Alright, good way. Okay? Alright. And since when did you become a nun to this mother's child? No, sir. You have not answered my question. Since when did motherless babies become the subject of your interest, Rose? Master, please stop. I took the poor girl home and that's all. And you want me to believe that? Master. 
the poor girl has no mother and the sympathetic good Samaritan took her home. Eh? Marcel, I am in, I am not in any mood for a quarrel right now. Exactly. And I tell you what, whenever you feel like killing someone. Marcel! Honey, please. Please. Dad, where is my mother? Where is she? Honey, you, you won't understand. Oh, not again, Daddy. Daddy, other girls in my school have mothers. All my friends in school. It's either their mommy or daddy that drop and pick them from school. Most times their mothers. Daddy, why is why is mine not caring? Daddy, where is she? Did she leave you? Your your teachers in school have they taught you about death yet? Is that this way you don't see somebody ever again? Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Daddy, mm -mm. are you going to cry? said men don't cry. Not when they've been beaten. But I thought nobody has beaten you. Only death has beaten me. Death has beaten your daddy. I don't understand. Your mom, your mother, she, she was an angel. Just, just like you. She... She 
she? Her home. She died. She died when she was giving birth to you. That kind of love. Huh. I mean, why does he find holes in every little thing I say? Come on, he's just jealous now. I mean, it's just natural. We know jealousy is what it is. Jealousy, they say, is the most ingredient of love. Eh? Some control there, as others can't. And that's what happens to belong to the latter. Can't you see? That is the problem, Vic. That is the problem. Mm -hmm. How do you want me to believe he loves me? I just told you now. I just told you. Tell that to the birds. Oh. Come on, honestly, he does. You know, like I told you, I mean, he's just jealous, and I believe with time, definitely he will outgrow it. You know? Outgrow what? Marcel is 32. When will he outgrow it at 72? Oh. Rose, come on. Have you forgotten that they say life begins at 40? By that time, I'll be far gone from his life. What? You, you don't mean that, do you? Every word, every single word. So boy, boy, if you know how to pray, we can start praying and keep our tape. Meaning, meaning that the girl I just dropped is in such a type that if she says yes, I yes you mean it, yes. If she says no. Yeah, that's rules for you. That is why I want you to start praying. And besides, man, that thing is such an angel. I know. No. So why did you bust that now? Why? Well, I, I guess I... I was deeply annoyed. Myself, I'm telling you, I think it's about time somebody kept that your temper in check. I'm telling you. Did you discuss about the engagement? No, I never did. There was no room for that. So, what were you discussing with all this while? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was toasting her. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing. That's what you want to hear. Hello, darling. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Really? So? Auntie, I've come to tell you about my mother. Have you found her? No. I can never find her. What makes you think so? She, she's dead. She's dead, oh my god. She's dead, give me a